Well, I have some good news for all those men who are thinning on top. It seems a cure for baldness is a step closer. Stop looking at me, Tina. Hold on, plenty of hair here. Hold on to your hats. Vicky Hawthorne's more. <laughs> What's hair today could be gone tomorrow. The days of the multi-million pound industry of medications and treatments which claim to reverse baldness in men could be numbered. A groundbreaking experiment on mice in the US has shown that it should eventually be possible to reprogram the skin to regrow hair. Scientists have found that mammals are able to grow new hair follicles. Those in the local male grooming industry say it can only be a good thing for those men who are uncomfortable with being bald. Well, it can be a very touchy subject and uh, it can be one which is very difficult to bring up with him, especially if it relates to changing his hair. He's maybe had long hair for a number of years. Now that it's got really thin, it's time to change it. So it's very hard to bring that up, you know. So uh, it's great, you know, if, if there's products out there that can bring the hair back and keep him younger looking almost as well and retain his hair, he'll have a lot more confidence. Some women and one man on the streets of Belfast today were all for getting rid of the toupee transplant or comb over. It's would be great. They wouldn't have to wear wigs anymore, would they? <laughs> My husband hasn't got much anyway, so, and I love him just the way he is. <laughs> I would like a man with hair. <laughs> I'd be more attractive and sexy, I think, with long curly hair, and it's always affecting so my you, confidence. You like the idea of this stuff then, do you? Oh, yeah, I just read about it actually in page five. I'm going to send away for one of the Mises that had the experiment done on it. Unfortunately, a drug which can replace the locks of millions of men around the world is probably at least a decade away. So, for those who are follically challenged at the moment, they should be proud perhaps of being the last in a generation. Vicky Hawthorne, UTV Live, Belfast.